Hey everybody, it's Terry Mojo Johnson from the Swamp Drivers. Mojo Johnson Guitars. And man, that is backwards. I forgot about that. So, things are going to be a little bit backwards. That kind of fits the way I work anyways. I'm kind of backwards. Um, what I'm doing today, I was telling you, I'm going to be making a tennis racket guitar. And I'm going to show you how to uh, how I'm going to do that. Let me see who's in the house here. But you got to start with some coffee. Let me turn this down here. Hang on. Mojo Johnson Guitars. Man, that is bad. I forgot about that. Hang on tight here. Don't go away, everybody. That kind of fits the way I work. Anyways, I'm kind of bad. Um, what I'm doing today, I was telling you, I'm going to be making a... Maybe I won't be able to do this with the... Maybe I won't be able to do it with the volume on here. There we go. Man... Dress me up, you can't take me out. Good morning, everybody. We got David in the house. We got John in the house. Grab your coffee cup. Don't know what's in it. I was telling you yesterday, I'm going to make a, uh, show you guys how I've done a tennis rack. Well, hopefully going to do a tennis rack guitar. Um, what I did do is I pre-did some stuff. But this is something you can kind of share with the kids, all right? I know some stuff's going to be off camera. I'm going to show you. This is how to make music. <laughs> now, this is one of the, probably one of the important things that you do is a tape measure that you're going to need. So math to make music. All right? So you can pass it on to the kids right there. Tennis rackets are very small and lengthwise. Again, you're not going to be able to see the... Um, the whole length of measurements, you don't need that, but it'll give you a good idea. The overall length of this is 27 inches. Um, the guitars uh, that I make are usually, you know, they're a lot longer. There's a, there's a scale, there's a mathematic thing to it. Um, so I had to come up with a different scale to make it so it plays in key. So what I did is I was looking around. There is some there's stuff online that you can get. But I cheated a little bit. I had this little guitar. It's kind of a... So what I did is I used the measurements from that. So what I did do is I put it on the... the basically on the, the the beginning of where it starts on the nut. That's what they call this down here. Then I measured down to where the strings touch. So the distance from where the strings touch, I got a measurement of 21 and a quarter. Now, one other thing I did, you guys don't have to remember all this stuff. You guys get a chance to see kind of how this whole thing works. I measured also to each one of these frets. Now, this is going to be fretted, but what it does, I want to be able to, uh, I'm going to put some indicators on the side of the tennis racket to tell, you know, kind of where I'm at. So, I'll be doing that later on. Hopefully, uh, this is going to work. I'm going to show you some of the, the good, bad, and the ugly, all right? Here's the ugly. <laughs> All right. Here's the tennis racket. Um, and what you got to do anytime you're building, you got to come to the realization that you you might start in a certain direction, and you might have to stop. You might just just might not work, um, or you just got to work around it. Sometimes I've come into things where I start got an idea going, and um, I had to totally change the whole idea. And this is one of those things. Um, usually what I try to do is I try to make the complete guitar out of the, the product itself. Don't add anything to it. Take away anything to it. Found this really old tennis racket, which you guys can't see, but somebody signed it. P. Burt. And you want to make sure nobody took it. It's on both sides. P. Burt. So if there's any P. Burt's out there, sorry, I got your tennis racket. Um... If you guys can see this, you go from the side here, it gets thick down here. All right, so I just assumed that the wood got thicker as it went down this way, but they didn't. What they did is they split the wood and they put spacers in here. And they didn't have, instead of using a whole spacer solid, there's like little bits and pieces. So I couldn't cut this out. Usually, what I do is I'll take and I would have, my plan was. To take the tape off, which I did, just down on the handle, and 
put the tuners in there. I couldn't do it because of that. Uh, because it's all hollow. So I had to come up with a plan B. So I pre-made some stuff ahead of time. I'm going to show you what I did. Um, how you doing, Sarah? Mike? Hey, from Sweden. There we go. Bridget? Um, Kim? John? John, I'm, I got to get a hold of you about some this t-shirt thing I'm doing here. Um, Ron, good morning, everybody. Um, so, going, going back. So I pre-made some stuff because of the... You know, I started in one direction, and I ended up going in another direction. Um, I'm going to show you some of the things that I did. So, being the tuners, now again, I know everything's a little bit backwards. This is the tuners that you see on the guitars. You wrap the strings around here. Normally, I, what I was going to do is going to cut it out and place them in here. And that wasn't going to work because it's hollow, and uh, it just wasn't going to work. So, what I decided to do is make these little... Uh, pieces of wood and attach these to the wood and then I'm going to attach this on each side. It isn't really the way I wanted to do this but I couldn't see another way around it. So I want to make this a three string. So I also made, so I got two on one side, one on the other side. We'll attach them as it goes on. I want to show you a little bit what I made ahead of time. So that's how that's going to work. Now that's one of the parts. Um, next thing, you got to put your strings in up here. Now, I've done this before, and I like the way this works out. Uh, what it does is take, I got a little piece of aluminum, I got some aluminum scrap around, and what I did is I made this little wedge piece. Get up a little closer, there, up higher. Um, drilled some holes through it, and to be honest with you, that's all I'm going to use. Um, I, I found that there's a lot of people who use a, a divider nuts and do different things. This will work for what I want to do. So this is going to set up on here to hold the strings and to be the, the nut, so to speak. This piece, and this is kind of my little secret that uh, I've never shared with anybody. So you guys are going to see something I don't normally share. This is going to be the back saddle where the strings go through, plus it's going to hold it. Now, I've used this design on the, the first time I've ever done it was on the plunger because there's, there's no space. I can't go because the length of this guitar, if you notice a body of the guitar, it goes to where the strings attach. And then there's about another area that's probably six inches long. I don't have that here. This guitar, like, again, this is very short. So what I'm going to do is you guys can see this. Let me see if I got a little piece of string. Okay, this is a guitar string, just a little piece I use for something else. What I'm going to be doing later on, I'll push the string through here, like this. I'll bend it, and then I'll bring it back through this top hole right here, like that. And I'll pull it nice and tight, and that's what's going to hold the strings. This is top secret stuff. If you guys tell anybody, I'm going to have to hunt you down. Hey, uh, John asked me about the t-shirts last night. What it is, I'm working with a guy... Um, usually I buy t-shirts from a company and what I'm doing, this guy is kind of, he's setting up a whole, a whole merch store for me and which is really cool because to buy a t-shirt, you don't buy a t-shirt. I have to buy a hundred t-shirts and you know, five, six hundred dollars. You never have the right sizes. So I've always, that's, I've just never really went beyond that. This guy is offered to... Everything. He's coffee cups. Every single thing. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, different logos, a hundred different sizes, um, koozies, all sorts of stuff. But John, I'll get a hold of you. We'll, I, I'll talk to you about some, some other stuff on that. But anyways, I regress. So this is going to be the bridge. Okay, so this is, I pre-drilled it. This is going to go on the end here a little bit. That's how that's going to set. All right. I don't want to get too technical with everybody. I think this is going to be kind of cool. So, again, a little bit of math to make music. Um, let me see what else I got here. Well, let me, I guess I can kind of start, I guess. Um, let me start with these things right here. I'm going to start putting my tuners on here. Now, this, I, this a lot of times when I'm making stuff, I'll take and start old school. And just get, get it, first you get it, see if it's going to work. 
And then if it works, which sometimes they don't, and this might not, um, I'll go back and dress it up. Uh, finish sanding it, you know, making it, polishing it like these things here. I got this stuff where I, I polish this up real pretty, make it look nice. Look, um, it almost looks like chrome. Um, I'm not going to do that on this. I'm just going to get this thing to work, hopefully. Hopefully. That's my uh, idea behind it. Um, again, I'm doing this real kind of rude and crude, but to me, I think that's what the cool thing is about this, is making it, um, rude, you know, like I said, rude and crude. Yeah, yeah, uh, Don, the links are above. There's hats there. Um, everything. It's really cool. I got it for the, there's, there's merch for the Swamp Drivers, Mojo Johnson Guitars. Um, it's for a bunch of different stuff. And it's, it, it's in the link above. So, uh, hey, T.Y. Afghanistan. It's, it's awesome. Massachusetts in the house. All right. I, I know I get jumping around a little bit. I'm just making this rude and crude to see if I can make this work. Because this, even though I've got these pieces cut, I kind of fitted them on last night because I wanted to show you how to do this. It may not work. It may collapse. And I did some things which I'm going to show you as I go here. All right, let me put this stuff on. This is my, for my tuners. Again, I... I uh, Now what I do is I'm working with stuff that I'm not really too sure how much stress this thing's gonna be able to take, what type of wood it is. Um, you don't want to over tighten it and strip it out. So this is kind of a cool project. Now this is you could do this with anything. But like I was saying, the most important thing is the math, which is you know um, of knowing the distance between the strings to make it so it stays in tune. I could do it without the math, but you're then you're really fighting trying to figure out the what it's going to sound like and keep it in tune. And what I do is I like to make sure these things are playable. You can make them so they're cool looking and all that good stuff, but um, I want to play these things. So let me put this top one in. I pre-drilled these. Basically, what it is I took made these little pieces of block wood. So it wouldn't fit in there. Um, like I said, normally I'll take and finish them off, sand them, paint them, or whatever. This I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you, uh, hopefully, make a quick guitar, hopefully. I can, you guys got to name this for me, all right, guys? Okay. Okay. There's that part. Now what I did is I measured before I've already got a pretty good idea. I don't want to smash the bottom, so I'm going to keep, maybe keep this up. We'll see how this works out. Um, the distance is really important on here. Be so everything stays in tune. I, I pre-done some of the stuff, but I'm showing you what I did and how I did it. Like I said, I'm not sure if this thing's going to work or not. Uh, all right, coffee break. You guys relax. Grab some coffee. Got to have some coffee. Good morning. Let's see, we got Chris, Tony. Make sure. Oh man, I'm gonna kill it. I can't. I, I know last name Denise from France. I, I'll kill your first name. I what I mean by that. My pronunciation is really bad, and I'd rather not say it and make you guys laugh. We got Edward from. Well, I just left here. Thanks for coming, and hanging out with everybody. The other part of this whole thing, you guys got to think some names for me on this thing. 
if it works. If, if it don't work, it's going to be a fly swatter or something. I don't know how you guys are seeing. Hopefully you guys can see well. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Got the three little strings, so the strings will come through here, wrap around here, in theory. If you guys... Okay. Now, got that done. But I want, that's why I wanted to show you kind of what I did and why I did and all that good stuff. Now, I've got to get into the pickup, to pick up the strings, the, the volume and stuff like that, the sound. And I bought this little kit with the pickups in it. And um, it's pre-wired. And I get stuff from, uh, it's a place up in New Hampshire called CB Getty. So... What you got to do is you, you, you're going to make mistakes, man. I make mistakes all the time. I've been doing it for a while, so it's kind of helped me out a little bit. But, you know, you you look at this thing. Okay, now how am I going to make this whole thing work, get things where they got to go? And uh, one of my best things that works for me is I'll put something together, and then I'll set it down. If, if I can't figure out how to do something, I'll set it down and uh, come back to it. So what I was looking at is I want to put the pickup someplace on here. Then I, I want to put the volume. This is going to be playing guitar. This is I know it looks like a tennis racket. I mean, that is what it is, but I'm going to make this a playing guitar. So this is the electronics that I'm going to need this little this whole kit I do, to, uh, to plug it into an amplifier and just cut it loose. So let me uh, feed this through. What I did, I got a spot down here and, and underneath here that I think I can fit the string, the all those pieces. I spread this apart. Man, we got 120 people on here, man. I figured you guys be going, what is this guy doing? Let's see if this is going to work here. So I got to get the electronics. Man, I hope this... <laughs> it says P-Bird on here. I hope... I don't know who P-Bird is, but we, we got his tennis racket. Okay. Feed everything down through that hole, hopefully. If I did this right. Now, I'm going to show you some, uh, some other things that I've do, done, and all that good stuff. There's that. There's one more. Okay, looks like I'm being successful there. So now, the pickup will go here. And let me see if I can bring that back through here. Yeah, I do. Hang on, I gotta bring this one thing. The jack, I can bring that back through because I decided something a little bit different to hold the jack. That's why I wanted to kind of have set this up ahead of time. It's making a few of the pieces, and you'll see what I'm gonna do there. Okay, now this is the, the volume and the tone control. Now what I did, these are going to fit through here. And I've, there's got, I've got to have some way to tighten them up. So what I do is I'm making guitars and I, kind of, I keep stuff around. These are the plastic pick guards and stuff that holds uh, some of the guitars I've worked on. And I found this plastic, I reuse it for different things. Uh, and this is the case today. I needed something really thin, something light for washers. So I took a hole saw, cut, this is what a hole saw looks like, like this here. And I cut these out and widened them up so they fit. So I made like little washers, but I want them nice and light, so. So you guys hanging with me? How are you guys doing out there? Newcastle, UK is turning the racket. Who is on the racket? Um, swap racket. You guys, you guys are already getting ready. I hope it works is what I'm hoping for. 
Tennis elbow. All right. Now, is this like watching paint dry, or how are you guys doing out there? Grab some coffee. You don't have to tell me what's in your coffee. When I was playing at bars, if I ever get back in there, one of the things I used to say all the time, the more you drink, the better I sound. Let's see here. That hopefully will be... I'm debating here. I think that'll work. I want to make sure I got enough space. The stringer's going to go down through here. I don't know if you guys, how well you guys can see. I think you can see. Um, I'll tell you what, if you guys are into doing this stuff, there is cigar box kits out there. Um, you can, you know, uh, or you can just have at it like what I'm doing. That's going to work. I like when a plan comes together. All right. Let me put the other one on here. If you, while you're uh, watching this all going on, I will be touching it. If, if it holds together, you know, you, you don't know. This might not, it might not put out a sound. It might, uh fall apart if you guys are into what I'm doing don't forget I got the um, let me use my homemade plastic washer go to mode all the all the links are in the description Bob I got t-shirts I got CDs and stuff like that you know what this is called everybody this is called Redneck Ingenuity. Maybe. Let's see if it's going to work here. There we go. So how's everybody doing out there? Hope everybody's doing well. Staying healthy. Staying away from the craziness. Man, I'm cooking now. All right. This is going to be for the jack, which I'll put that on in a second. This is my ground wire. What I do is no matter what I'm playing, there's a... Uh, you should ground your strings. It's not a, it's not a thing for you know, to get electrocuted or nothing like that, but you'll get a wicked hum. So what I've done is I'll take and... Uh, uh, run a ground so the electronics go to the strings. So there's a little wire that I'm going to bring back through and put underneath my back bridge here. So I wasn't sure how much I was going to need here. Hang, hang tight. <laughs> always make sure you're cutting the right wires. It's, you know, on TV, it's always the blue wire when it's when it's a bomb. So just keep that in mind. I think it's a blue wire. All right. I don't think there's anything else I got to bring back through here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put. I'm going to go over this one more time. This is my uh, tailpiece that I that I kind of pre-made. Um, and, and I'm going to tell you as I go kind of what I'm doing and stuff like that. But this is my design I used on a couple guitars. I didn't know what this was going to work. I used it on the first guitar I ever made. Was, well, not the first one. The second one is a plunger. Uh, I bring the strings through it one way. And then I come back through it another way. And that's my whole the whole tailpiece. And what it, it it's the length of the measurement of twenty one and a quarter, so it should stay in should stay is the big thing in tune. So let me uh, so let tracks go through. Let me 
drown this bad boy. So you guys enjoying the show of watching, watching, wow, 289 people. Man, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, sound, John, John is, one, he's a phenomenal sound guy. He's done sound for my band a few times. Um, He loves the hum noise. <laughs> if you ever watch a band um, or hear a guitar player and you hear this, hmm, some are worse, some are, some are good, some are, there's uh some are really bad. I don't know if there's ever, I don't know if there's ever anything that's good about a hum like that. It drives, it drives the sound guys crazy. Musicians it drives crazy if they hear it. So has everybody got their, uh, got their, got their coffee working? Three hundred people, man. I've never had three hundred people. So this is something you guys are kind of liking, huh? You just want to see. You just want. You guys just want to see me get electrocuted. Can you guys? Uh, let, me get, let me get my hand out of the way there. That's what it is. You just want to see this. Hey, watch this redneck guy. He's going he's to electrocute himself. This ought to be cool to watch. Okay, now we got that ground that we hooked up. This is good. Actually, I'll tell you what. I know a lot of kids are off from school. Um, this actually promotes, to be honest with you, um, math. Because all these guys, you know, play guitar at all. You don't need all this stuff. I'm going to make a screaming, you know, whatever. Um, you got to have math. To make music and it's it's crazy or not it's nothing i would have even thought of until i started building guitars again people that are tuning in uh, my name is terry mojo johnson mojo johnson guitars um i decided to do a guitar build something wild and crazy online Live. So, things are starting to come come around here. I pre-made a lot of this stuff because otherwise, because what you run into, what I found out especially, you start making this stuff and you have an idea and you think, oh, this is going to work great, and then you put it together and it doesn't. It was like the handle down here. For those who just tuned in, I was doing this, making this tennis racket guitar, and I was going to put the, vine, the the tuners in here. And I took the tape off, and it's hollow. And it's like two or three pieces of wood is all. So I couldn't do that. So I've, this looks pretty pretty scary looking. But to me, it's, it's pretty cool looking, too. It's, it's kind of like uh, if, if everybody's familiar with rat rods. All right. Coffee break, everybody. All right. Let's see what we got here. All right. So we got that on. Now... Here's one of the things I, I've, I bought. This is a piece that's on a guitar. It's if everybody's in the uh, Fender guitars, it's your, what you plug your jack into. Well, what I found is that I, if I could take I take this off and you flip it upside down because I don't have any depth. If you look at a guitar, a lot of times the wood is you know inch and a half, two inches deep, and stuff like that. I'm gonna take this now. I haven't tried this, so I hope this is gonna work. I put this inside here. I'm going to put it on top. Um, I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm going to also get a glue glue gun warming up, a hot glue gun. Because I'm going to need that to keep my wires out of the way. For any builders out there, anybody wants to try this, don't tell your wife. She'll get mad because you start, you start stealing her pots and pans. <laughs> tell you what, they work really good. Get a, if, you, if you guys want to try one, get get aluminum. All right, aluminum. Don't don't do, first one I ever made was stainless steel. 
That was probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done. It's very hard to cut. It works really nice. It's the it's the Revere one. I think I played. I might have played it last night. All right. So I'm going to fit this on in here. And man, I hope this is going to work. Depth wise and stuff like that. I'm going to have to see here. We'll see. Well, let me let me put this on here. Again, if it doesn't work, that's okay. We'll just figure out something else. I feel what's that guy that does that uh, that does the paintings? He puts in the happy clouds. Guy's really talented, man. Wicked artist. I don't. I be honest with you, I don't even know if he's still alive. But Ugh. stress is getting me. I can't, I can't put my nut on there. There we go. I'm going to show you another little trick here. Okay. When you're playing when you're playing guitar, your jack, the plugs in here that goes through your amplifier, is this pressure always going down this way. So what you want to do on the back side, you take, if you can, if you got room, you put it so the pressure will push up against. There's a little tang on the inside. kind of helps. Let me see here. And see, I want to do this so the, it'll push up against it. Man, I hope this works. I see one problem already. Right. What you gotta do is there's a there's two orders that are on inside of here. One is a we'll say a positive, one's a negative. And if they touch, it's like a car. If they touch, bad things are going to happen. So you got to make sure that it doesn't touch. And I want to do is I, the positive is is a little bit wide and it's going to touch in there. So I'm going to bend that in just a little bit. Let's see how we're doing here. 308 people are watching to see if I get electrocuted. Watch this guy. He's going to electrocute himself. Honey, come on. Okay. Let's see how it's going to work here. Hang on a second. I'm thinking... I want to make sure this is going to work. Hang, hang on just a second. I'm going to get a uh, cord. Okay, here's a cord that I plug it into. I just want to make sure. Because I've done this before. You hook it all up and then you can't plug the cord into it. Debating how I want to do this here. That should work there. What I want to do is I want to take and give this a little bit of height. Really technical, isn't it? I think that I think that'll work. Let me give this a try here. Um, let's see what we got here. I think it's gonna work. Well, I'll tell you what. I really appreciate everybody coming and hanging out with me on my mojo, on my my when I get playing and stuff like that. I really do. The support of you guys uh, coming, hanging out, watching, listening. Comments, suggestions of music. All right, let's see if this is going to work here. We'll plug that jack in there. Let's 
looking good. What do you guys think? I don't like that part though. I think that's gonna work. Man, we're getting closer. Now what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna hook up. Here's here's a trick. I, a couple of tricks I've learned. This is the pickup. It's really important to put the pickup in line with the strings. Because what's going to happen is... Uh, man, I hope I did all this right here. I think I did. Um, you got to make sure the strings go over these there's like these little poles here in the center. You want to see if you get the strings as close as possible going over those. So let me see here. Am I pretty close? I'm not sure if I want to take and do the hot glue gun on here quite yet. I think I'm gonna wait on the hot glue gun. I'm unplug that. So I gotta make any changes that did to be committed. Um okay, I'm gonna use another high tech part here. Okay, what do you guys want? What what kind of zip tie do you think would be the uh, a good zip tie? Would you think green, blue, white, or yellow? Well, let's see, we got some green on here. I think we ought to go with green, you guys. You guys uh what do you guys think? Anybody's uh, any uh, pros or cons like uh, color coordinating and all that good stuff? Zip ties, man. Who would have thought? I need to put some duct tape on here. We have we total red neck on here. So David's saying green on here too. All right, David's green with me. Oh man, we got 400 people watching it. Some guys can let, honey, you gotta watch this. This guy's gonna electrocute himself live. <laughs> yep. Okay. For those who've never watched this before, or watched my play and stuff like that, please follow and like the page. So when I'm going live, you guys can uh, watch the stuff. Green it is, man. We got this. This get, put this back. Let's see how we're doing here. Bailing wire. Nah, can't stop laughing. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Uh you don't know what this is, Michael. Man, this is a high tech guitar right here. You just want you want to know what it is. I I, I want to do something. Totally off the wall. I mean, I you know I've made them out of Harley Davidson motorcycle parts, um, but I wanted to do something like this. Um, you know, I I, I want to show you something odd. I mean, I, I you know, how many people have ever seen anybody uh, make a uh, guitar out of a tennis racket? All right. We're getting close. Now, I'm going to show you something else. I, what I was worried about is I was looking at the... I had a couple old tennis rackets. All this wood down here was all warped and bent. This it was bowed and stuff like that. So, I'm thinking, okay, now I'm going to put stress of the strings going from here up to here. Most likely, it's going to... I'm thinking, I don't know. I think it's going to heave it. So, what I did... Let me see. I don't want to... I want to bust this thing up. All right. I made I cut a piece of wood to fit around the back side of this, and what I did it for is to give it stress or to give it strength on the back. If it doesn't work for that, you know you could. Um. Usually I, I put a little bit of mojo in this thing. I take in. Uh, man, I would like to. I'm debating whether to commit. I probably do it like a mini commitment. I think I'll do a mini commitment. I'm not going to use a 
a glue gun, but I'm going to take and use a zip tie. All right, let's, let's go with a different color. What kind of zip tie do you guys want to use? Nobody's going to see it. We got yellow. Let's go with yellow. There's got a bunch of yellows on here. Four hundred people. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, Mark wanted. He goes. Have you ever thought about doing one with a golf club? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> yes, Mark. <laughs> I have. I'm trying to think because this that was one of the part where you got this, and that's where I was saying like I, I've got ideas down here. I've got there's a bunch of stuff down here that I want to try this on. All right, I regress. Let me go back into this thing. If you guys are into what you're seeing, make sure you. Uh, Follow and like the page. I do have uh, CDs. Uh, I do sell guitars. Yeah, let me sell this one. You get? I tell you, you guys are laughing. I'm telling you. How many people you ever see play a guitar? It looks like a tennis racket. Uh-oh, cut the yellow one. Was that the right one? And I hope I got the right one. You guys hear a clicking noise? That's when the timer's going off. All right. So, uh, seriousness-wise, I didn't think this would hand the, stre the, sh the stress of the strings left in. So I made, I took, laid the test racket down on a piece of wood and cut this out just to give it a little bit of strength. Uh, so when the strings are pulling up, this should, what I'm thinking, it should hold it from breaking in half. Debate if I want to put the string. What I'm worried about, if I don't put the, I think I've got to put the, a little bit of strings on here and get the pickup on here. I don't know if I can get this adjusted. Man, I hope I got that high enough, man. It could be the end of my show. So close. Let's see what I got here. Um, what I do is I save some of the old strings for, for this purpose. This can work. This works. Um, let's see if I go down to center, I guess. I'm putting an old string on here. I'm putting it up in the top because it it's not going to make any difference. So, you guys having coffee or you got a little something special in your uh, coffee this morning here? Let me see how I did here. You know, she was a little bit. That should work, though. There's, I want, what you, basically what you want is you want, well, let's go technical. About the distance between your strings and your pickup, maybe around a nickel. You know, uh, like, you know, those quarters, dimes, nickels. Okay, look, we got, we got to put zip ties on this thing to hold, to hold that pickup in place. Now here's all funny, all kidding aside, this is not, I mean, as far as um, this should hold and not come apart. It should, in theory. I don't want to get that too tight, so I'm going to put that, that torque on there. Um, let me put another screw in here. Hang tight. So how you like things so far? Is everybody enjoying the watching some old guy get electrocuted? Okay. 
see what we got on here. Let's see if anybody's peeking on here. Okay, we got 430 people on here. We got to see if we can get 500 people to watch some old guy get electrocuted. It's going to work or not here. I didn't pre-drill that out that big. Hang on a second, everybody. Technical difficulties. Let me go backwards one here. Again, this is Terry Mojo Johnson from Mojo Johnson Guitars. I got to show you something because everybody's probably thinking, okay, this guy is making, this is what kind of guitars he makes. This is crazy. I want to show you something here. I'll be right, hang tight. I'm going to show you one of my guitars. All right. How much you guys can see this thing. This is my Harley Davidson theme guitar. This is for sale. So, yes, you know, the other ones, are, that one there I'm making, that tennis rack one, is rude and crude. But this, I make them up to this end, too. And this is for sale on the website. Just throwing that out there. All right, I'm back. Okay, got that in there. Okay, got the string on here. Listen, ready? Woo! Listen to that right there, everybody. Now, there's something else I always like to do at this point. This is a little battery-operated pickup. Or, uh, sorry, battery-operated amplifier. And I want to see, I want to make sure... If this thing makes noise. If it don't make noise, we're going to be in trouble. All right. Let me get some stuff out of the way here. Hang on. Ooh, look at that. See that? All right, okay, now get this out of the way, because in a little while, we're going to crank this bad boy up. You always want to make sure that things are working before you totally commit on uh, electronics. You can put everything together, but I've done that before. You Then you start, you, you commit, you, especially with like, the high-end guitars I make. You put the electronics together, and then you build all this other stuff. You can close it. Then you put the strings on it. Then you plug it in. Then you find it doesn't work. Then you got to take everything apart. All right. Now, let's put the structure back in this thing. Now, if this doesn't work, it could be a large fly swatter. All right. This is what I did this for is, and usually at this point... I put some artwork on here. I don't know if I want the artwork on the bed. Let, let, let me put a little mojo on here. Any of my guitar builds, I'll put a little one just in case. I put this little, oh, let's see, little, do a little mojo on here. It's a little mojo. All right, I know it's backwards, but that's, you know. How's everybody doing? Have a little coffee. Man, we're kicking now. We're kicking. 
Okay. Now you see we've made noise with it. So that's our first step. Did I pre-drill? I did some, yes, okay. Now, we gotta put some screws in here. Hang on, I gotta get some more screws. Now look, this is rude and crude. Because like I said, I don't know whether it's gonna work. And to me, the rude and crude is cool. Because, I like rat rods. You know, I like the fancy, you know, Porsches and all sorts of stuff. But I also like the, the, the stuff that looks like it shouldn't even move. But it, it still has purpose. The purpose of this is the structure. It's going to have reverse tension on here. On the back of this racket. Because you got to remember, those strings... There's a lot of tension on those strings. All right, let me put some more of these things in here. So what it, what could happen, it may hold now, but it could just completely turn inside out. So what this is gonna do, the strings are gonna be pulling this way so I need something to keep it flat. Oh, are you guys disappointed because I haven't electrocuted myself yet? Just checking. You guys are still there, right? <coughs> Excuse me. No telling. See, a lot of people, they'll, they'll, they'll look at this. <coughs> Excuse me. I, wicked allergies. I'm going to snort these down a little bit. Oh, yeah, one more. I pre drilled a few holes. I'm trying to save some time. But to me, I think this is kind of, this is cool looking. To me, it is. I know a lot of people are laughing. And, you know, it's, it is what it is. But, I spent some time yesterday, you know, making the aluminum pieces. I made mistakes. Let me tell you something. Any women out there, they know us guys make mistakes from time to time. Only a little bit, once in a while. All right. Let's see, we got the structure on the back. We got the string on the front. I hope I didn't jump the gun a little bit, but I think we can put our uh, um, beat where I want to put this here. This pickup in here. Let me get it up a little bit in case I got to put another zip tie or something in here. So now we're committing. Now we're committing. Um. What color zip ties you guys want to use? We gotta put some pickups in there. Think we gotta go back with the green? Come on, help me out, you guys. All right, gotta wait. We need some. I need two, at least two, to hold the pickup in place. I mean, we're using some green. Uh, if you want to get fancy, match this stuff here. So, what do you guys think? Green, good. Doing a fine job. David's saying here. Okay. Now. Now what I'm doing. I put the one, one string dead center. Up in here. Now what I'm going to do is. I want to try to get the pickup. In the center also. And one of the things I can tell you right now. What I probably should have done. This is hindsight, which I should have left the back off. And I may have to take I may have to take the back off. We'll see here.
Hang tight, everybody. I'm surprised the number of people that are... 499 people. All right. You guys, did you... Yes. <laughs> you guys are bad. You just want to wait and see if I electrocute myself. I know. I can hear it right now. Honey, come on. This guy's getting ready to electrocute himself. He's watching it live. See, we got any ladies in the house out there? Yeah, we got Pamela. She's in there. See that? There you go. She wants to see somebody in pain. See if he gets electrocuted. I see. The cool thing about this is these can be moved from side to side. And, you know, what I'll do is once... The first thing you do is you get it so it works. It's, it's like a test. You kind of put things together, um, and then you can take and, uh, you know, use a hot glue gun or man, is that pretty? Pretty ugly, right? I know. Let me put one more zip tie to hold that one out of the way. So what color you guys want to go to? Man, we've been going green. Should we, uh... I've got Mary in the house. Look at that. Uh... Or should we get color coordinating here? We've, I've got a choice of zip ties. We got... We got blue. Got a couple blue ones. Got a red one. Some more green ones. Bunch of yellow ones. Yeller. Ah, Mark wants to go blue. All right, he's right on. He's right on the computer. All right, we're going blue. That'll help with the style of music we're gonna play. We need to put some uh, some blue in here. Now I wonder if I got that. Let me get this done here, and then I gotta I gotta see here. I, there's something I might need to get. Debate how I want to do this. I see how all these fans are now. I see what happens now. I think somebody's going to electrocute. Everybody wants to watch that stuff. Nah, you won't get electrocuted doing this. Look, there's, there, this is a rude and crude build. There ain't no doubt about it. I ain't going to... There's so many talented builders out there that spend hours and hours and hours. It's an art. Well, that Harley that I showed you earlier, that thing is, to me, is art also. It's, it's, uh, let me stick with blue. We gotta make sure we get enough blues in there. Um, it takes a long time. I, I, there's one piece, one Harley piece that I put on there. Uh, seriously, probably um, a day on one part. The part cost me a couple hundred dollars. People ask me, how, you know, how come the guitar is so so expensive? Those Harleys, uh, you go into a Harley store sometime and buy buy a Harley part. Man, well, look at this thing. This thing's looking fine, isn't it? All right. Well, I, I just before I put the strings on here, we got some. Uh, I need some tactical advisors. Now we have some choices. I don't know how many choices we got here, but we need volume tone control knobs. Now I don't think it's going to affect anything. I don't think well. Here's your choices. We've got black. Hang on, let's see what we got here. Oh, 
Got a couple of these bad boys. I put these, these, these were made for something else. I didn't put them on. These are the D's, and I put beer caps on them. So we got a couple of uh, beer caps. We've got Chrome just, I don't know. Chrome just wouldn't fit. Chrome is going to look too, too fancy. You know, I, I mean, it did look good, but they're pretty fancy. Um, oh, I see. We ought to put a little mojo on there. I think I might put one of these on here. Let me see what else we got here. I put one of these together. We got Mojo Johnson guitar. We got to put one of those on there. Let's see if that'll fit. I think that'll fit. They're a different style. Let me just see here. So what are you guys thinking? Beer caps, huh? Mark's right on there. Yes, I know. I <laughs> Mark's got three Harleys. Yeah, he gets the idea behind this uh, this deal with the. Uh, how expensive the Harley parts are. That's why those guitars cost so much. I don't know if I can use the Mojo one there. Let me see here. I'd like to. It's a different style. I don't want to break anything. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. All right, I don't want to break anything. Let's Okay, let's go with the beer caps. We have... The Adirondack Brewery and uh, Smutty Nose Brewing Company. So if there's anybody in there, I know this is backwards. This is the Adirondack Brewing Company. And this is uh, the Smutty Nose Brewing Company. A little odd around there. So if you know anybody that's... Oh, look at this. This is green. Man, we are getting color coordinated. All right. I hope this is going to work. Okay, there's that one. That's the volume. We'll put the smudgy nose a little louder in the back end. There we go. All right. So, we almost got a guitar here, everybody. Sorry, I'm, not, I'm kind of rushing around without taking care of stuff. Coffee break. Coffee break. Everybody grab a little sip of something. Oh, man. Again, my name is Terry Mojo Johnson from the Swamp Drivers, Mojo Johnson Guitars. I'm going to take off that test string. What I did do, everybody, you've seen at the beginning, and I want to show you something because a lot of people probably missed it. To set this up, it, it, it's, if there's anybody, we were talking about it before, um, kids, oh, I want to play guitar, but it's math, math is really big in here. It's a distance measuring from this end to this end. Uh, then I got, what I did is I took this guitar. And I measured from here to here to get that distance. And then what I measured each one of these frets. And on that tennis racket, and I, I wrote the measurements down. And I'm going to transfer, put dots on the side of this, of the tennis racket. It helps me indicate when I play. This is going to be just slide. This is going to be slide only. Um, <clears throat> but it helps me keep it in tune if I'm playing a song. Now, you tell me this ain't redneck. I'm telling you right now. Bill's coming over in 20 minutes. I don't think Bill's coming over here. He's probably coming some, someplace else. Over 500 people watching this thing. I know Bill's doing. He's going to grab that old tennis racket out of his uh, out of the garage right there. All right, strings. Going to plug in for CB Giddy again. I get uh, a lot of parts that you've seen on there. I got the the tuners. I got the pickup. I got. Um, 
this this piece here that got my input jack in and also I'll get my strings from there I get them in bulk and get them in sets Let me get these out here let me start with leave these hanging right here for just a minute so I don't get them all right I'm gonna show you how I've done this now this is a top secret deal here now I'm serious about this what I did I reversed this. I, I'm coming through backwards. I come back through this way. So I got two things in one right here. Oh, I bet you that sounded nice. That's kind of like that. Come right back through. Just so if everybody wants to know, this is a 46 gauge. The thickness of the strings is 46, 46 thousandths of this. 0 0.046. What I'm a little concerned on, and this may completely explode here as far as not hold the pressure because the wood in this tennis racket is uh i don't know what it is um i know the wood that I put the tuners in is oak so i know that'll hold it So, what do you guys think? Go right out and grab yourself a tennis racket. and Remember, this music business is just a racket. That's all I got is bad jokes, all right? Ooh, listen to that thing. I just hope it holds the stress of this thing. That's the only thing that I'm I'm a little worried about because there's a lot of torque on that little uh, that little guy right there. Cut the extra off. Now, hold on, I want to. See what I'm talking about? Watch, watch if you guys can see the body of this thing. I can see it lifting. It's doing this to it. So. You know, here's the way I look at this. This may work. I might have to put like a bigger piece of plywood, like a three-quarter inch plywood on the back of that thing. Let me, uh, hold on. I'm detune it a little bit there. All right, now let's see. That's a 46... Now I'm going to go to a 36. Johnny Ace wants to say, can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to see if it stays together. Let me try that, see if that works better. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay together. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I don't know how much you guys can see this thing. Well, you guys can't see what I'm doing down. Let me, let me move this down here. Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of a mess going here because I'm just jamming. I want to try to. Not spend a lot of time. Okay, the first string was a 46, this is a 36. It depends. I got a tuning that I go with 
that I kind of like. Um, I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Usually I go to it's EBE. I'm going to go to what's called, a, it's a DAD, D -A -D tuning. You know, Father's Day is coming up. Hey, just, just showing us out here, you know. Father's Day is coming up. Man, I got all sorts of mojo gear, but I also have, I got some fine guitars too. Don't judge by this one. So what are you guys thinking? Kind of scary looking. One more string. But what I like I said, what I my concern is I don't know if it's gonna hold it or not. So have you guys figured out a name for this thing or what? Oh. Like I said, this is kind of like Christmas. It could be, the names could be either a guitar name or it could be garbage can or tennis or uh, I'm thinking big fly swatter. We're getting close. Hang on, I need to grab a couple things. We'll get these out of the way. Good morning, everybody. I don't know how many people are uh, hanging with me. I know we had over 500 people here for a while. I don't know if coming back to watch the whole... See if this thing's going to make any noise. Hang tight. Okay, I'll be right back. I need a couple more pieces. Now what I'm going to do, I need to get myself a slide and a pick. And what I'm doing, I got a Cigar Boss guitar set in here. I don't want to muck around getting a tuner. This is getting the moment of truth. Now, this thing can completely blow apart, all right? This is, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. If it blows apart, then what you totally could. I'm going to stretch the strings a little bit, which scares me more because I'm putting more tension on them. Haven't you guys ever seen anybody make a tennis racket guitar before? Coffee time. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Dave just reminds me time for coffee. All right. Butch wanted to know how much for uh, the Harley Davidsons. They, they, the Harley Davidson guitar start, started about $1,900. That one that I just showed a little while ago is uh, $29. That's got all, it's all brass hardware. Um, it's all high end Harley parts. Harley Davidson uh, Derby cover, uh, Harley Davidson logo number one on the headstock, uh, aluminum uh, racing uh, sprocket on the back. A 
It's kind of like this. All expensive parts. I spent... This is always scary. I'm looking at it going, okay, those, hopefully this thing don't completely go nuts on me here. It is, it is coming down a little bit right there in the metal. Not bad, though. I see a little torque right here, so. Should have went with steel. Remember, this block, this tennis racket belonged to somebody says Bert on here. Couple places here. P. Burt. So what do you think? She held. It didn't blow. Alright, for those that are... Uh... Look at that, man. You guys helped me put this thing together. Alright, let's... Uh... Man, I'm scared of touching it off. So what do you think? Are you guys ready to try to make some noise with this thing? Mind the beauty. Tennis racket guitar. Class 101. Now let's see what it does. The only thing I did don't have on here right here is I don't have um the marker's on there. To tell me where I am pitch-wise. It's in the back. Man. Let's see. So far, it's looking good. Let me turn the volume down. I don't get thrown out of my house this early. You hit the button. Ooh. Let's get a clean sound out of here. You guys thought it was going to be a, a bad thing. Let's see what we got here for. Uh, let's just turn on. All right, let's let's get kind of. swampy all right you guys ready there we go let's see what this does here I need the, the indicators on there On there. I'm monkeying around. I don't have any indicators. To tell me uh, where I'm at. Give me a second. We've got noise. See if 
me get this to stay stay put here. Hang on. Here. How you guys doing? Everybody doing good, man? We, we made a guitar this morning, kinda. Let me shut this off for a minute. Let me get. What I use, I use these, these paint paint pens. It works out really well. I'm just gonna put a few indicators on here. Um, this could be kind of a bad thing. We'll see how it goes. Man, I won't be able to get much of the octaves or nothing like that. Eh, it is what it is. Let me just get a few things on here. We'll go from there. Black. All right, use a black. Don't want this thing to fall. I'm trying to do it in kind of a quick way. This is Redneck 101 here. I knew that was going to happen. All right. First one's one and three sixteenths. Two and a quarter. This is a very, well, again, this is slide. So I'm not too concerned here. Three and three eighths. Four and three eighths. Five and five sixteenths. So you can tell your kids you got to learn math. Shop class, redneck ingenuity, six and a quarter. Seven and eight. Seven eighths. So you guys hanging, or do I lose everybody? I'm not watching. This is this is serious business I got going here. Five eighths, eight and five eighths. This I don't know how I'm gonna do this part. Nine and three eighths. Now I gotta start going vertical here. Nine um, ten and an eighth will be the last one that I can do. Boy, I won't be able to see that one. I'm trying to do this kind of quick, so uh, hang on. I got one more thing I want to do. Don't go away on me. Probably lost everybody. They found out that I can't, uh, I shouldn't let cute myself. Bringing this bad boy up. Now this is my uh, measurement tool. Okay, so let's see here. Get that here. It's kind of helps me find out where I'm at here. Dot here. here dot here all right this will help me kind of figure out where I'm at Let me get this back out of the way hang tight everybody now make sure you put in you got any names for this thing besides I don't know and definitely, I'll be firing this thing up. I'll get some a strap on this thing. And I'll hook this up and we'll do some live jamming on this. I'm going to find my uh, my pick on here again. Here's my pick. What do you guys think?
get it kind of nasty here. <laughs> this thing up I'm gonna put a strap on this thing so I don't lose it let me get this up here see that we did this thing little coffee cup a little mojo oh man I'll put the mojo in it while you're gone thanks for hanging with me everybody appreciate you coming hanging and uh, stop back in a little while I'll be touching this off in the big rig I just gotta do a couple things to it and we'll uh, see what it what it sounds like. Remember, Mojo Johnson guitars, CDs, uh, we got a bunch of merch there. We got t shirts, hats, uh, tennis rackets. See that? You never know what you can make out of anything right there. There's a little how to for everybody. Thanks for coming, hang with me. Appreciate it. Take care. <laughs>